The robots are coming and they could hold the key to independence for people with disabilities. Sydney's University of Technology is investing $4 million in what it's calling assistive robotics. It's called the exoskeleton and could change the face of rehabilitation for people afflicted by stroke, spinal cord injuries and motor neurone disease. Uh, we want to give them uh, that independence. We want the person to work in collaboration with the robot. Medical details are put into a computer and the robot then customises movement to strengthen the arm. The hope is this might reduce the physical workload of physiotherapists and improve outcomes for patients. If you can give someone a device that um, gives the person the capability to feed themselves, whereas before they couldn't, that's a major increase in their quality of life. Laser-guided walkers could make it much easier to tackle narrow doorways, and smartphone technology may vastly improve how wheelchair users navigate around their homes and communities. We want to come up with new goods and, and new ideas that we can put into practice, and in this particular case, we can make, or we hope that we can make a difference. Chris Sparks knows just how tough everyday activities can be in a wheelchair. The former Paralympians on an expert panel, giving researchers vital information on how robots can help. Long before you give me access to education, buildings, training, opportunities, if I can't get out of bed into my wheelchair and have my pressure care cushion and my shower chair, I can't even start the day. The disability services provider Greystains is also working closely with the university and is hopeful robots could one day improve the lives of its clients. Whatever we can do to provide the opportunity for people with disabilities to have more control over their own lives, the better. These modest looking machines are thoroughly high tech, but their aim is simple, making movement easier. The prototypes are a long way off production, but with an ageing population, assistive robotics could be the way of the future. Nicole Chettle, ABC News.